A British peer has in explosive revelations said that London spy agency MI6 murdered the first democratically elected Prime Minister of Congo, once described as the most important assassination of the 20th century. Lord David Edward Lear made the disclosure in a letter to the editor in the March 21st edition of the London Review of Books in response to a question made in a new book published in January. The question is made by Calder Walton in his book Empire of Secrets, British Intelligence, The Cold War and the Twilight of Empire. Walton writes, The question remains whether British plots to assassinate Lumumba ever amounted to anything. At present, we do not know. Sir Lear wrote in his letter that actually, in this particular case, I can report that we do know that Britain plotted to kill Lumumba. It so happens that I was having a cup of tea with Daphne Park. I mentioned the uproar surrounding Lumumba's abduction and murder and recalled the theory that MI6 might have had something to do with it. We did. I organized it. She had been consul and first secretary in Leopoldville, now Kinshasa, from 1951 to 1961, which in practice meant head of MI6 there. Leah also said that Park had told him the reason behind the assassination was that Lumumba was a leftist and ready to hand over rich Congolese resources to the Russians. She said, we went on to discuss her contention that Lumumba would have handed over the whole lot to the Russians, the high-value Katangese uranium deposits as well as the diamonds and other important minerals largely located in the eastern state of Katanga. Lumumba was the central figure in the Congolese fight for independence from Belgium in 1960 and was assassinated by gunshots on January 17, 1961. Au nom du gouvernement congolais, à vous tous, mes amis qui avez lutté sans relâche à nos côtés, je vous demande de faire de ce 30 juin 1960 une date illustre que vous garderez ineffaçablement gravée dans vos cœurs, une date dont vous enseignerez avec fierté la signification à vos enfants pour que ceux-ci, à leur tour, fassent connaître à leurs fils et à leurs petits-fils l'histoire glorieuse de notre lutte pour la liberté. He only served two months in office before US-backed military coup. Uh, Congolese have been massacred by white people in the Congo for years and years and years. And if uh, the shoe is now on the other foot, uh, only thing I can say is it's like chickens that always come back home to roost. Do you personally feel, though, that there's some shame or uh, involvement here or some guilt associated with the killing of other human beings? I think that the white people should be ashamed of the deplorable situation that has been existing in the Congo which is not the fault of the Congolese, but which is the result of instigation by European powers who are fighting each other over the mineral wealth of the Congo. And now to make it appear that the Congolese themselves are criminals or brutes because they're reacting to these uh, uh, injustices that they've been victimized by is, is again ducking the question. Shambi is the murderer of Lumumba, who was the rightful prime minister of the Congo, Shambi is the man whose forces uh, fought against the United Nations forces and against the United States. And despite this criminal past of Shambi, uh, now the United States is backing Shambi, uh, who has hired uh, South African mercenaries, who are hired killers to disrupt the uh, peaceful efforts of the freedom fighters from Stanleyville to uh, make the type of country there that they want.